boys, here we are at the E85 station. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage where we're going to continue working on our 2020 Audi R8 Decenium. And today what we're going to do is buttoning this thing up 100% that way we can get this thing ready for the road. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we basically completed all the major components on this car. Got the whole entire rear end looking absolutely amazing. Got this whole entire side realigned and put back together. And this thing is almost ready, but you know what? We got a few things that we got to just screw in, but up that way this thing doesn't fall apart on the road because the bumper right now is just clipped on so we got to button that thing up the side skirt needs to be screwed on from underneath and this carbon fiber piece right here we noticed that it has to get bolted on from the bottom so we got to pop that side skirt back off and while we do that we'll probably put this brand new piece on there as well same thing as for this side over here once this side is complete we're gonna have to go ahead and pop this side skirt off over here because we got that carbon fiber piece that we want to install and also we got to take off this a quarter panel extension because it is broken right there we got a brand new one that we painted and also remove this carbon fiber and install that race carbon fiber piece and i think we'll be ready to go dude hey, we'll be ready the interior is complete as well the yep. front end is just buttoned up as well man we're ready for the roads dude. and we're ready for 1200 horsepower or more which dude, one? we are getting with there the 85, dude. Dude. we're ready for some e85 so that'll be like the major thing today is if we can get e85 in this thing and i believe b rogue uh, messaged us and said we got a brand new upgraded tune for this thing so they're going to quickly install that later today which is just going to be insane and i'm just ready to get back in this car man i'm ready to get back in that driver's seat because this thing is just a beast dude, dude. this thing is just an absolute thrill when we were just uh ripping around halfway dude you know, the but... car was missing but you know what right now we're going to be 100 percent with the seat belts and just the whole entire car actually looking like an ra and it's going to be an epic one dude yeah. i'm excited dude. i am too but we still got a good bit of uh buttoning up to do so let's just go ahead and take care of it let's dude. do it Alrighty guys, so check this out. This side of this Audi R8 is looking mighty spiffy right here. We ended up throwing in this door jam piece, this handle as well, basically this whole entire side. The only thing that we're missing over here is that carbon fiber seal right there. And then also this piece right here, which we got all that stuff ordered. And also we threw on this fender, did some minor adjustments right there. This side is looking super sick. No more potato chips in there. But anyways, we jump onto this side over here and um, what are we doing over here now? Now what we're gonna do is actually install our new quarter panel extension piece. Right. But we have to actually extend our air vent here, which um, uh, VF Engineering actually came up with a bunch of stuff to do this. So they got all the paperwork over here. All we have to do is just cut about like six, nine inches right here and glue these pieces. That way it opens up that air yep. duct. That way the bigger carbon fiber duct can actually scoop more air. Yep, you? that's right. We're basically just widening that tip right there. And also we got to order this exact piece for that side over there. Can't forget about that. Yep. And in this area right here, it looks pretty crazy, honestly. I think that's like the oil cooler or something like, I don't even know what that is. What yeah. Think that oil is, cooler for sure oil cooler everything else seemed pretty good this bar was a little bit bent but we went ahead and straightened it out and i mean that's pretty much it right there once we install all this we're gonna go ahead and uh 
fix the side skirt, go ahead and throw that carbon piece on and then throw everything back on this car. Yep, and then uh, maybe we'll move on to the inner fenders after that because the rear bumper is like kind of loose on the bottom and it We'll probably throw it up on quick jacks right after we get done with this. We'll throw it up on quick jacks, go ahead and pop all the wheels off of this thing. That way we can look up under there, tighten everything up. Yeah, because sure. right now it's basically like a parachute. It like scoops air, like you know one of those parachutes that you <laughs> throw on the back of your car to slow it down? <laughs> We yeah. might need one of these, honestly, dude. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. If you're if you're going to the drag strip, probably for dude, sure. Dude, this thing on the drag strip, we're definitely getting this sucker on the drag strip. Not with these tires, yeah. though. Or what do you think? Probably whenever we get some stickier tires, for sure. Dude. Because those tires right now won't grip at all. But dude. for now, we'll do plenty of road testing and launching oh, yeah, or whatnot. Sure. So I guess let's go ahead and take care of this stuff right here, and then we'll go and find some E85. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, we are moving right along. This sucker is almost ready to hit the road. And as you guys can tell, we got that brand new VF engineering scoop on there. Modified that duct a little bit, but you know what? Everything is back together looking absolutely amazing. This right here is definitely just gonna swallow way more air. Just keep everything nice and cool. And of course, we got that brand new quarter panel extension on. Got our side skirt carbon installed as well, which that side skirt was a little bit damaged. Used the heat gun, fixed that right there. And look at the inside as well. Got the door seal, the door jam, everything back together, and the mesh right there. That looks pretty clean, dude. Dude, that is just super awesome. Did have to modify the air duct a little bit. And I mean, after that, everything was super simple, dude. Exactly, and as for that side, we still gotta throw the mesh on after we buy that duct, which we actually found a duct on eBay for a race car R8, Yeah. which maybe if we purchase that, we don't even have to modify that because I think they- It's already wide. Will be wide, Yeah, dude. because these are originally on the R8 race cars. I forgot what they call them, the GT4 cars or something like that, but VF Engineering just makes custom ones, dude. dude. that is so awesome right there. Can't wait to just run this this thing and just I mean it just looks good right yeah, now no, dude look how right wide there. it looks it looks super aggressive yep exactly and also we went ahead and threw on all the inner fenders got the wheels and tires back on as well and the splash shield for the rear bumper so we are basically ready other than giving this thing just like a nice little quick washer a legit wash actually yeah I say we vacuum the inside kind of wipe everything down and foam this car out 100% dude, it dude. definitely needs it that interior is just super filthy I've been mentioning the whole that. car is it dude. is man and you know it's kind of like weird because some areas are matte some areas areas are high gloss but it's cool though it's cool though you don't <laughs> yeah. usually see that right there but i think that's pretty much it other than that tune i can't forget about that tune it is an updated tune for this decennium although we can uh currently run it as it is it's just you always want to update your tunes just because yeah. they find like little tweaks that they gotta you know tweak yeah out. i mean but right now i mean it drives perfectly drives amazing but once we get on the phone with them then they'll throw that upgrade on yep. there but for right now we need to go ahead and give this thing dude. a wash dude. let's just go ahead drop this sucker down bring it outside and give it a nice clean
that gives me butterflies, dude. That's, That's what I'm crazy. talking about right there. That's sick. They're, they're just fooling, man. That E85 just, man, I think it actually upped the horsepower because that was just an insane launch that we did, Yeah, dude. so we ended up finding some E85 about 10 miles away. We had some 93 in there, so we were basically still burning off that 93 Yeah, just we were now. burning it off a little bit, and it's kind of weird. That E85 didn't really say E85. It said E51 through E83, That's but that's the only thing that we found around here, but that's technically, I think, like E85. E85, you know dude. I mean? That little launch that we did was insane, dude, it's just man. The, that's like the first time a car ever gave me, like, butterflies dude it's just crazy the feeling that this car gives you i mean 1200 horsepower i can't imagine people going up to 2000 dude, man i can let's <laughs> that, do it uh, yeah right Pop man wheelies, i think this is plenty for now dude i think so too but this thing is super clean it is definitely breaking necks out here like breaking our necks and other people's necks as well definitely a lot of attention it's kind of weird because a lot of people don't even notice that it's two colors you know matte and then yeah. gloss they just don't notice it because they're like oh dang i, I thought this side was matte that side's gloss it looks good yeah dude. they just pay attention to the car overall let's just go ahead and do a quick walk around we just drove down to the park over here it's a little bit windy dude, dude. the front end looks aggressive that dude. looks sick <laughs> even with it like different colors I honestly oh dude I'm, I'm i like it like it is dude you get a little bit of matte you get a little bit of gloss dude, dude that's what i'm talking about right there so right now i think we're gonna probably just find a little bit better place to do some testing right yeah definitely 100 percent. we didn't throw the new tune on here because i believe v roll they're a little bit busy right now with customers and stuff like that we said don't worry about it car's doing great right now we'll just do the upgrade whenever they're ready yeah let's sure. check out the interior as well dude it is so mint in there dude, we got it nice look at and that, clean dude. dude all we got is just this little bit of missing stuff right here but dude look at that man dude, amazing I, I almost hate that there's a cut in it right there because that's all i focus on dude you may just have when to you're just... not spooling that is but when you're spooling you can't you see you don't even worry about vision. that you're just looking directly in the front but who knows we may get that redone or may just buy a used one or a new one you know yeah, what we'll I mean? figure that out a little bit later right now i say we go ahead and do a little bit more ripping and uh put the pedal to the metal do a little bit of skipping So we just did like one minor pull, which was pretty crazy as well. But this thing is super squirrely. The alignment is pretty bad out of whack. So it's pretty sketchy right now. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. Uh, I think it's like when you go a little bit over like 80 miles an hour, it starts going pretty crazy squirrely. So we're definitely going to need alignment. But slow speeds whenever you're building boost. Like right now, second gear, I'm going to build some boost. And then I'm going to... This gives you a rush, dude. It's addicting, dude. It's like a drug or something, dude. <laughs> dude, I was just about to say the same thing, dude. dude. It's crazy. It's just addicting. Oh, my it's gosh. Like, you don't even have to go fast. It's like slow speeds. Like, I'm going, like, 35, and I, I slow down to 40, drop a gear, and then you just disappear. You wait for that, that boost to build up. You listen to beautiful turbos, and then you... That's crazy, and you weren't even on it right there. I can tell, but yeah, I wasn't even on it. I'm just barely on it. It's it's just the way the boost builds up is so like pure. Dude. My question to you is, do you think you'll ever get used to 1,200 horsepower? I don't think I will. I mean, it's a fun car, but I don't think you need any more. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll drive this thing. And we'll be like. 1200 horsepower need more because if, if you think about it you were talking about this earlier when you drive this thing and you like boost it you start almost like getting like it's, you it's, lose track of how fast you're going and it's hard to really concentrate yeah. on the road basically tunnel vision because i mean we're not used to this much power we're not used to even 800 horsepower you it's know what a mean? quadruple digits right yeah this is a thousand twelve hundred horsepower maybe even most. a little bit more with the e85 now yeah but it's just crazy because it's like you get into a tunnel vision which is crazy but i think Maybe over time we'll get used to it. That's why they want to start you off. That's why whenever you first get into like twin turbo V10s, you want to start off like the first package and then the second package. And yeah, package. slowly upgrade. But that makes sense. But definitely, I think your body and your brain and your it's mind, like fighter jets. It's like fighter jets. You gotta take class. You gotta you adapt. Know, you gotta, gotta adapt, adapt to the G force. So we're adapting to this G force. So we're just crazy. Epic, acclimating to 1,200 ponies, man. 
that's just wild right there. So we're gonna probably do a few more minor tests. We don't want to do too much. Yeah, mainly I'm just testing, just driving normally right now. You know, try, like, listening to stuff. We do hear a little clicking here and there, so we're gonna have to probably see what's going on. Some interior stuff like behind Vibrating. me. I hear a little bit like bolts maybe loose, like just little minor things. So just a regular test drive is good. Once you get everything like situated, yeah. then you can hit more. Bolts. Hey, when we fully completed this car, we only had like a handful of bolts left. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> maybe two handfuls. No, I'm kidding. I don't think we had any. Well, we did, of course. We had, we had a handful. Of bolts. But anyways, we're gonna do a little bit more testing and then make it back to the house, and we'll just uh, go from there. Honestly, dude. Yes, sir. This thing was riding a wheelie just now, dude. Easily, dude. You yeah. catch up to traffic so fast, too. You know I know. What I mean? This is a perfect car to, you know, on ramps, onto highways, get on and ride away, dude. I thought you were about to say, air, like, air, airport strip, dude. Yeah, dude. If we can get an airport strip, dude, that'd be so epic, dude. Oh, man, this thing would take flight, dude. I think that if you had a big enough wing on this thing, it would fly, dude. Easily, man. If it wasn't so low to the ground, it would catch too much air. I mean, that's why you lower a car when it's so fast, you know what yep, I mean? Yep, and you put the wing on to produce downdraft and also the splitter. Down and the splitter, yep, everything is working together. The air scoops right now are probably catching so much air, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, with our gear. Uh, that was wild. I don't that know was... what that was, but it felt crazy. Yeah, dude. it did. It was like almost like... Kind of, oh. it kind of like hiccuped a little bit. Yeah, like, that's the word, dude. That's so, the word. I don't know. That's why we're testing right now, but we're, we're figuring everything out. There's certain uh, drive modes, drive modes, and there's certain ways you can shift this thing. Like paddle shifters is the best way to drive this thing, but you know, right here, I'm, I'm gonna do a third gear. See, it's, it's kind of doing something weird right there, so that's why we're testing it out. I think that was actually wheel slippage. You know? Dude, a hundred percent. Actually, B Rogue was talking about this. Yeah. If it slips, it's gonna kick on the ABS, and all that boost is gonna be lost, basically. Yeah, I mean, we lost, it, it kind of, that's what it was doing. It was like losing boost, and I kind of felt it in the steering wheel, so that's probably just wheel slippage. So we kind of have just sucky tires on here. They're just regular, just regular stock, regular stock tires for the, for the Lambo. So, I mean, it's doing good on regular speed, but once you really want to hit that boost, that's probably what it's doing. Those it's just tires slipping. are made for like 600 horsepower. They're 580 horsepower out there. Yeah. We're putting double that to those tires. So yeah. we definitely got to get some super thick tires, some r triple eight rs that we got. Yeah, those tires are the best probably for yep. twin turbo uh, V10s that's right there. That's why they're so hard to get right now because yeah. everybody buys them. Honestly, they're like hard to find. Yeah, right, right now. now they're super hard to find, but thank God we have a really good ones on those tires that we have. So we're probably just going to reuse those, make sure everything is good on those tires and uh, i think once we get those tires on in our brand new wheels can't forget about the wheels we got wheels coming in from b-rogue wheel from, distribution yeah from b-rogue wheel distribution they're gonna be epic i mean they're oh gonna change God. the whole look of this car dude, dude this is nothing like we usually do so it's gonna be crazy right now but right now we're heading back to the house i think we're done doing a little bit of testing because because we know what's going on with this thing so now we just need to get b-rogue connected hey we did the testing now time for the tuning you know what i mean you got that right man but this thing overall is epic but guys that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video we're super happy to do some more testing with that r8 right there although it is not 1000 percent but you know what this might actually be the last r8 dedicated video but we're definitely going to keep you guys updated we're going to include it with the next videos that we film because of course we still got some super epic wheels got a few little minor touches here and there and of course we got to do a price breakdown let us know if you guys think we should do that maybe next or just wait on that until it's actually like 100 finished up but you know what super epic car right here still much more testing in the future on the track maybe on the drag strip but make sure you're posting notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace